Hey, Destiny! You got some sweats I can borrow? Sweats? Yeah. Come on, man. Why y'all setting me up like this? Hey, you ain't got no regular sweats? Right now we're on our way to Castlemont, uh, early morning workouts, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, weightlifting in the morning. Gotta get these kids used to waking up in the morning. As a man, when they grow up, when they graduate from high school, you gotta get their ass up. Very many people went to Castle. I know some of them, them dudes is going through some shit. I went here, you know what I'm saying? My mother's on drugs. You know what I'm saying? My grandmother's poor. Man, I got 13 siblings and I'm the oldest. I thought about that in high school. It used to fuck me up. It, it was hard to focus. This is breaking the cycle. I'm jumping in in the middle and saying, look, I'm you in five years, man. I'm you. Get, get up. Get up. East Oakland, California, get up. Hurry up, give me 20. Quick, I want this quick. Come on, man. Seven o'clock, y'all gonna be late for work for $30 an hour? No. Hell no. Castlemont is a place where you have to persevere. What? All you hear about Castlemont is, is, is just straight negativity. I'm Ed, man, I'm Ed, Coach Ed. You. What's your name? I'm in. Oh, okay, okay. I need you, brother. Be here. What's Third. up? What's up with you? Castlemont got 500 students, and uh, it's a big school. It should have at least 2,000. But because of the area, people don't want to send their kids to Castlemont. We on 88th in Matt. 85% of the murders that happen happen from the 70s on to the hundreds. This is the kill zone. You know, just coming to school, you just never know. I told three. One, two, three. No. These dudes got real problems. They facing real adversity. Poverty, lack of food, no love. You know what I'm saying? No real authentic love. That's the whole purpose of me taking this job. I've walked and I'm walking through what they walked through. What's up with you, man? Hey, hey, you, you know how to call people, right? How you doing? How's your grandmother doing though? She doing all right. They're about to send her back to the hospital because she can't walk no more. Are you serious? She can't walk no more. You stay with your grandma? Yeah, I gotta take care of the house. No, I get it. I get it. I get it, man. Trust me. I'm, I live with my grandma too, man. She, uh, she's not doing too damn good. Here, come on, man. Growing up was real, real hard seeing people get shot, robbed, you know what I'm saying? Hell, fights, all kind of shit, man. So. My mother was addicted to drugs, you feel me? My grandmother raised me, but I ain't gonna lie, I kinda, it hurt a lot, you feel me, not to be with my mama, you know what I'm saying? And it still hurt to this day. When I started to hit the teenage years, man, I wasn't going to school, I was shooting dice, I went and got a pistol, you know, I tried the, the, the weed selling thing, that wasn't for me, gave away all my damn weed. But at the end of the day, Coach, Coach Denny came, and that's where, that's where my life changed. We're gonna be there this year. We're gonna be there. Cause then he came to the block. 
He started bringing around people that, that went here who done great things, and we was like, what the hell? You went to Castlemont? He could talk to us. It was like a structure. It's like, damn, I ain't never seen this. He was the first person to say, man, you going to college. I developed a love for football because it was a way for me to escape the ills of growing up in the, in the hood, you know what I'm saying? And man, if it wasn't for him, man, on, on the real, I would have I would have veered way left, real talk. Coach Ed, it's all you, baby. All right, listen, y'all, that was, that was beautiful. All, all eyes, all eyes, all eyes. What I see right now, a whole bunch of kids, you know, they, they want the structure, they want the right coaching, but they just haven't had it. Almost cried last year watching y'all play. For real. For real. Last year y'all had a different coach. Year before that y'all had a different coach. Year before that y'all had a different coach. It's not y'all fault. I'm here for the long haul. This is y'all team. I love y'all, man. Bring it up. This is a family, man. Nice on me, nice on three. One, two, three, nice! We finna bring this shit back. You can't call me and tell me something and you're not here, Billy. You're supposed to be a captain. Come on, Billy. Get up. Uh, well, I expect way more than you, out of this than you, blood. Where you going? You got class. Yeah, just get class. Come on, blood. Here. Come on, man. That's bullshit. It's supposed to be a baseball prize, but he's he been catting up. Okay. Right. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Give me 20 push-ups for missing baseball practice, man. Right now? Yeah. And With the backpack on. <laughs> You know, this is Nikaj, one of our, our good students making a bad decision to come to school on time. Ed is, is you know, he's establishing protocol. So if this is going to be his protocol to get things to change behavior, we support it, you know. These kids have been used to just getting away with, with certain things. All right, I'm quite that. All right. Be a baseball practice, man. What's up, man? You want to play football or you just want to you come to school an hour late? Yeah, that's 2-2. Two -two. He died in a car accident, but he got killed on some stupid stuff. Somebody was, somebody was mad that he was talking to that girl. While I was in high school, Big Jesse, he died. Uh, Richard, Richard died. My, one of my teammates killed somebody from Castlemont. Ever since I've graduated, my classmates, I've been up to about, probably about 70 funerals, all under the age of 24. That's fucking crazy, but get immune to it, man. That's exactly why I came back. Because of this. Rest in peace, man. Daughter Winky. What's up with you? I'm Brandon. <laughs> What's up, man? What's good on with you? Hey, you got some eighth graders for me? How the fuck I'm doing some eighth graders, bro? Hey, hey, Mo, blood. Hey, I'm the head coach, blood, at Castlemont. So I'm just trying to let these little niggas know, look, bro, you can live here and do something, do something cool. You feel me? I mean, I got a cool little team, bro. We got a running back live on Sunnyside. Ask me what's his GPA, though. A lot of coaches, they you know, they want to see big and they want to see strong. Hey man, come on and play, you look like an athlete. No, I've been talking to everybody. We different. It's the grit, it's, it's the area. Do you get what I'm saying? Going to Castlemont, you get it. It's a whole bunch of kids who, you know, they, they go on me, they, they just need, need somebody to get in there, get them mentally prepared and push it. And then you're gonna see beast. We can go undefeated if they buy in quick enough. Real talk. How many people in here in the 8th grade? How many people in the 7th grade? Do all y'all know where y'all want to go to high school? Or y'all know where y'all going to high school? Where y'all going? Tech? I knew, I knew he was going to say that. How y'all doing? Good. All right, all right. My name is Ed Washington. I'm from here. I'm from 96. I went here. Went to Castlemont. I'm finna graduate from college in May. I'm the new head football coach, man. What we're gonna do at Castlemont, we're gonna be more than coaches to you guys. We're gonna be mentors, life mentors. We're gonna get you guys on a plan, an academic plan with a purpose. Great. Who all got over a 2.0? Yeah. 
Be honest. Keep it real. It's all good. Keep it real. You would have a chance to play varsity. There might be some other schools recruiting you, but I've been around coaching staffs. I've coached in college. I've been around NFL. Um, this is where you want to be. I want to let y'all know, man, life is about choices. It's about choices. So the choices you make today will affect you in the future. I'm telling you. All right. Y'all hear me? Do y'all? How many eighth graders play football? All right. Make sure y'all on that list. Y'all get up, man. Get up. 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 Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Hey, come on, y'all. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in, man. Give me two. Give me two. Give me one. Nice on me. Nice on me. One, two, three. Go! No, but man, where we at right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you when it's good to put out the window. It's just not good right now. Make it like I'm shooting a video. Hey, what happened? Yeah, you got stuck in that car. Find out in a few minutes. Shit travel. So you hear it. You hear about it? We, we become accustomed to this shit, man. You feel me right here in this district. My players never been over fucking. They never fucking been over here to pee my own art fucking to the hills or anything like that. Never. Looking at all these fat houses, it gets you to thinking like, damn, maybe I can do this too. And what do I need to do to do it? Then, then you sparked it. Just imagine if I was coaching at this school. Fucking three gyms, no worries, straight football. I don't hate rich people, but I kinda, you know you gotta go for the underdog. Sports is only important because it grabs the attention of the youth. Life lessons can be taught through sports. Responsibility, brotherhood, being able to trust the man you lined up next with, getting up, being places on time, perseverance, you know what I'm saying? Finishing stuff through when shit get hard. These lessons is lessons that you use in life. I'm trying to build these dudes' lives. Let's guide you right. And then make sure you're doing everything you're supposed to do in your power to get out of here, experience things, and bring your ass back and change the dynamics of Casma in your community. That's what this shit is about. All right. Look at this. Y'all finna see people working out right now. It's, it's 9.30 at night. They're working out. If I was a trainer at 930, I would have to have vans to escort my team home. Damn. Guess you're born in the situations you can't control, man. Oh, so play Monta Vista. It's been a long time coming, but we made it. Driving by the lake, windows down, getting faded. Thinking all the times when I thought we wouldn't eat. So I'm sorry if I'm rough around the edges when we meet. Showing proof, spread love, that's a lesson from a G. Got the world up on my shoulder, but that pressure get released when I put it on the song. They say I'm coming up, cosigns from the stars. You see me getting plugged, I've been looking for advice. 
Still I listen to myself I got passion and abundance Let's transition that to wealth Yeah, they play you when you independent Praise you when you winning Around you when it's popping Clown you when it isn't Yeah I know a chick who used to strip Her body is to uh Her older cousin used to pimp He spit that lobster shrimp They both hustle hard Trying to get a lot of chips Watch stuck at grind o'clock You better know what time it is And I I got to always hold my ground Even when my back's up against the wall